Hello, lovely. So, I got asked how I make my crepe paper rosettes to make them circular. So, I'm going to show you guys how I make these. So, I just have some regular, like, crepe paper streamers. And um, I'm going to show you how I fold them to make them circular. Um, my children are in the other room watching Powerpuff Girls. So, if you guys hear them in the background... I'm sorry, I'm a mom, a stay-at-home mom, so, uh, anyway, so, um, what I do is I crease it like this, and then I flatten it out, and then you want to take the next one that you're going to draw in, so take the next one and take it to that corner and hold it in place and crease it. And you're going to just keep doing that like so until you get a circle. It doesn't have to be like a certain amount of crease. I just do it in a circle. Usually it takes about 15 pleats, uh, 12 to 15, depending on how you're doing it. So, but you want to bring everything to that middle right here. So you want to just keep angling it so your end piece is centered in the middle and keep pleating. So like this. Sorry, my son's very vocal. And then like that. Okay, so then when I get to this point where it's in a full circle, I like to take my scissors and cut a little bit of length like this. And then just keep pleating it into the middle. If your back doesn't line up, like, Mine's lining up, but if it's a little offset, like let's say it looks like this, like this, just go to the back and kind of push it down at a angle, like to have it line up with the front, like that. So you want to push it down at like a, like down and then kind of circular motion. Or just straight down if you want to just do it straight down. And then I just pleat this little end piece right here. And then you're going to take your little circle. So I have my little circle. I'm going to take a stapler. I'm going to put it in the middle like this. Staple it that direction. Take it back through. Staple it on the opposite side. So it, it catches it in both sides. And there you have it. You have a circular crepe paper rosette. So one thing I like to do too, and I'm going to show you guys this because it it's really cool, is I like to take like these designer scissors and like this one, and I like to cut the edges. So I just want to show you what it looks like when you cut an edge. off them. You can also take circular die cuts and um, put them through your die cut machine and uh, flatten them out and make them like really fancy looking. So now we have this like really pretty design on the edge of it. So there's another idea of something you can do for your crepe paper. So. Um, I hope this is easy for y'all. If um, any part of this was confusing, leave me a comment below and I'll answer your questions or I'll make a follow-up video. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!